Hello everyone, it's Jill from What Jill Wears and today I have a quick fix to unbox. My last box was supposed to be a Dirty Dancing box. Totally saw where she was coming from, but didn't quite hit the mark for me. So I ordered a quick fix and it came about a week later. So here we are doing another stitch fix and I, I'm curious. I don't feel like what's in here is my style per se. I asked for some purple pieces, but I always feel like I'm surprised once I try it on. So I'm not going to judge until I do that. I don't know who my stylist is. Last time it was Caitlin. Before that, it was Kayla. She's on maternity leave now. I'm not sure if she's had her baby yet, but I have Emily this time. Emily with a IE. Hi, Jill. Happy fix day. Oh, no. I'm so sorry that your last fix was a bit of a miss for you. I hope to have found some baby-inspired pieces that you'll love today. Hmm. That, like, makes me even more curious about this box because... This box doesn't look at all like baby. Okay. I've started with another try at a plaid shirt. This one from Sanctuary. This one will be perfect tied up with a pair of denim shorts and white kids. I've also pulled a cute pair of colored skinny jeans from Gen 7. Try these with striped tee from Market and Spruce. Again, style with white canvas sneakers for a perfect 80s camp outfit. I've rounded out your fix by grabbing a fun jumpsuit from Tarte Collection. While this one isn't exactly like the outfits in the movie, it will be amazing for dancing. Enjoy and have a fabulous birthday, best Emily. Okay, I kind of get where she was going with the 80s vibe. So first off, we have the jumpsuit. This is incredibly soft. I know Tarte Collection is very nice quality, so I am actually pretty excited to try this one on. I like the print. I don't own a jumpsuit. I used to, I think, and I just wasn't the right fit. I think you just have to find that right fit for your body in a jumpsuit. So we'll see if this one is it. So it's a cross front, a cross back. It has a tie at the waist. It has pockets, which is always nice to see. I just think this print is going to be very flattering. Um, I think dark, obviously, and then prints like this usually end up being a lot more flattering on bodies like my own. And this looks like, I wanna say navy, but I think it's probably black. Sometimes it looks green, but I think black and white, I'm gonna say, let's see. It just says white. So this is by Lemon Tart. So yeah, that's super exciting to, I, I'm really excited to try that on. The legs are kind of a wide leg. So that's kind of nice too. A lot of jogger or jumpsuit sets I see, I feel like are joggers or tighter in the legs. So I'm interested. All right, next is this Market and Spruce top. I totally see the 80s vibe in this one. I do really like the colors. It is a little bit of a heathered look to it. So, I don't know, we'll see. Um, the back has buttons. There's the pattern too. So you can see it's a little bit of a heathered pattern, but I do really like these colors in it. Um, and I see totally the 80s vibe in this. Definitely think I had a shirt like this back in the 80s. That's very soft too. Next is the Sanctuary plaid shirt. This is sort of a gauzy feel to it and it's almost see-through-ish. So it's very lightweight. So this would probably be a really good like spring summer top and it looks green and it is. Again, very soft and nice. Next is a top by LUQ. I do have several tops like this. I did sell a few of them because they were, they ended up being too big for me. 
So this one might be because it's my regular size, but I feel like in this top, I, I think I size down, but maybe not. I'm not in love with this pattern though. I really like red, but I don't love this kind of polka dotty pattern on it. And I just don't know about that tie front anymore. I'm kind of over it. Lastly are the purple jeans. These are by Gen 7. These are by all Seven for All Mankind. They're the Crop Skinny. Frayed hem. Looks like everything else is just plain. These actually look really cute. I typically don't look great in color denim, but I know that this brand is quality and I think if they make a little bit more quality, thicker jean that they could end up being super cute. So I'm kind of excited to try those on too. You just never know until you try it on, right? All right, it's that time. Let's go try on. Here's our first look. I kept my regular jeans on just because I didn't think this was going to go with purple pants. So <laughs> here it is. You know, I always feel like if I'm going to buy a top like this, I definitely want it to be from LUQ or Luck or whatever you want to call that brand. I just think they do it well and it feels really nice on. I think it looks really cute. It's really flattering. Um, I don't have that many bad things to say about it other than I don't super love the polka dot pattern. I kind of wish it was just a plain red shirt and I'm kind of over the tie front. I have enough of them, I feel like. You could always probably tuck it under. That's pretty cute. But then you probably get a little bit of a pooch out right there. Pretty cute. Here is the Sanctuary plaid shirt. It is a very long length, which I don't mind. I think sometimes it's cute to wear longer shirts like this, even over jeans. And you could, of course, wear it over leggings and you could tie it in the front and do lots of things with it. But I don't love this shirt. I just feel like it's very um, masculine. Um, it's a nice feel, but it just doesn't excite me. It's too dark or something. I don't know. All right. So I'm totally kind of vibing on this. I get where she was coming from. I did ask for something purple, I think. And I think I did ask for a repeat dirty, dirty dancing box or like 80s type theme. So I get what she's doing here. I get it, I get it, I get it. And I kind of think it's cute. <laughs> the jeans are so soft. I feel like they fit really good. The rise is perfect for my body type. It's kind of like a mid rise. And I think I'm almost inclined to size down in these. They are pretty stretchy. And I feel like I have a lot of room in the waist area and some bunching back here. But I think they're a super cute length for summer, spring and summer. Look very cute with the white tennis shoes and this top even. I did not notice until I put it on, but it has sort of this tulip sleeve, which is really cute. Totally get the 80s vibe from this. Do you remember? We had like those shirts like that went like this and they had the straight patterns. I think I had like a rainbow one. And then here is the back with the buttons. Show you this out. And I will show you that they're just quite, quite
quite big. You kind of get this bunching down here and you just know. So honestly, I kind of, kind of like these. So I'm gonna see maybe if there's an exchange, see what the cost is. They're very soft and I think kind of flattering. What do you think? All right, you could just have that jumpsuit left. And here we have the jumpsuit and a puppy dog. Hi, Liz. You sleepy tonight? This feels wonderful on. It's so soft. The fabric is a nice thick knit. I don't know, it's just soft and nice and feels good and has pockets and I feel like it hits me in the right spots. The only thing I would say is it's a little long. I almost would want to get a petite in the, these in this if it's available. But other than that, I think it is pretty darn cute. This v-neck is very flattering. It fits under the armpits well. It masks everything. So yeah, I like it. Let's go over pricing. I had to real quick come back on because, you know, you can't have a palm print jumpsuit and not put the hat on. Pricing recap time. The Tarte Collection Janine Knit Jumpsuit in white is $88. I did go online and see if they had exchange for a petite size and they did not. They have zero exchanges in any sizes right now. So that one is sold out, which kind of is a bummer because it is really cute. And I don't know, maybe I can find it online somewhere. So I might search. But as it is, I feel like it's too long. I would want to wear like sandals with it and shorter heels and not have to wear like super high heels. So, but I did really like it. I thought it was really cute and felt really, uh, fit really well. The LUQ Re tie front top in red is 38. That one I think I'm going to send back for sure. I do have another shirt just like it. That's a better print. The Gen 7 by 7 for All Mankind cropped frayed hem jeans are in purple are $99. I was expecting that from this brand. I don't know. Do you guys have this Gen 7? What do you think of it? Does it hold up well? Is the quality worth it? I feel like, you know, you always hear 7 for All Mankind and people love the brand. So I'm assuming that Gen 7 is probably pretty great too, but I think it would be a really cute spring, summer, jean to wear and it's a good lightweight and it felt really nice on so I might size down in those and get those we'll see we'll see I do have a little bit of credit I could use them for um the sanctuary boyfriend button down textured top or it doesn't say I just am saying it because it gets cut off in green the 78 that's also going back the market and screw <laughs> market and spruce Bravian button back detail top in white is $48. That seems pricey for that short sleeve top. Three, $351 is the stylus pick subtotal. If you buy all five, you get a 25% discount. That's $87.75 off for a total of $263.25. So I have some decisions to make. If I want to keep it, I, I still have my trend send that I have to send back. I just don't, I don't know. The more I try stuff on, the more I just feel like it's not quite the fits for me, even though I felt like they look really well on. I don't know. And, and going into spring, the jeans especially, which are probably the things I'm leaning toward keeping the most, are a little bit heavier jean fabric and I feel like I want light 
lightweight jeans for spring and summer. So I don't know. <laughs> uh, I do have a trunk club coming and I do have some more jeans in there and some other cute things. So that is going to be a really good one. Stay tuned for that. And then I have a wantable active edit that is ordered that is still being styled. So that one will be on its way soon as well. So a couple more boxes coming from me. I feel like I'm finally getting back into the groove of it. I feel like I took a little bit of time off there a couple of weeks that I was not getting boxes. So it feels good to be back. Thanks again, you guys, for watching. If you would like to try Stitch Fix, I do have my referral link down below. You can click on that and try it for yourself. I'd love if you would subscribe to my channel. I'm still growing this thing. I think it's been three years now, three years in April that I started my channel, which is insanity. Uh, it just started off as like a little hobby. So I do make a little bit of money, which is kind of nice because I can buy a thing or two every month and it's covered, which is awesome but it wasn't really my intention. It just kind of happened. And it's, I'm very thankful for it because I can buy a few things. Uh, I do weed my wardrobe out. I do have a What Joe Wears or What Joe Wore Facebook page. If you are interested in purchasing some of my past closet items, you can go to that. I still need to update it. I've tried to add a few things, but life just got crazy. And um, I need to get back into taking some pictures of the other things that I have and listing them. So go check that out if you'd like as well. And we will see you in the next video.